Hi, welcome. Grandma Honey here with another story for you. This one's called Officer Buckle and Gloria, and it's written and illustrated by Peggy Rathman. All right, let's get started. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Oops. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. And afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle. But Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Natville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. And when it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. And the children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. And the children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. And Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip that he had discovered just that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. And the audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. And the children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He never noticed how funny safety tips could be. And after this safety sp speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Natville School. Every letter had a drawing of glory on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about sa his safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. Oh, and please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. And when he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during an electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. And that night, Officer Buckle watched himself at the 10 o'clock news.
The next day, the principal of Napville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. And then she fell asleep. And so did the audience. And after Gloria left, Napville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. And Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. And then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. Yay! The end. And that's our story for today. Officer Buckle and Gloria. Bye-bye for now. Be blessed.